Sean, the Iraqi military says several rockets were fired in and around Baghdad's green zone on Saturday, where the U.S. and other embassies are located, as well as at a military base north of Baghdad that the U.S. Air Force uses. So far, there are no reports of casualties. Meanwhile, tens of thousands of mourners marched to pay their respect as Iran's top general, Qasim Soleimani, and an Iraqi militia leader were buried. They were killed in a U.S. drone strike on Thursday at a Baghdad airport. Angry marchers demanded revenge in Iran and Iraq as they shouted, America is the great Satan. We want Iranian officials to take revenge. We want to punch them hard in the mouth because they martyred a warlord who was very important to us and very valuable for us. The march comes as governments around the world are calling for restraint between Iran and the U.S. But Iraqi militias linked to Iran say they will try to drive the U.S. out of Iraq. Iraq's parliament will meet Sunday in an emergency session to discuss the continued presence of around 5,000 U.S. troops in the country. Qatar's foreign minister visited Iran, where he met with his counterpart on Saturday. The country has often served as a mediator between the U.S. and Iran. Well, Toby, as you mentioned, uh, leaders around the world calling for restraint. Clearly, the hope is for diplomatic uh, individuals to step in. So what is likely to happen next? Well, there are a lot of questions facing the U.S. Will Iran retaliate against America? And if so, how? The Department of Homeland Security worries that Iran may launch a cyber attack. We are now potentially facing a threat that's different and greater than anything we have faced previously. We're in, at this point, a de facto state of war between the United States of America and Iran. Now, other reports are that Iran may launch physical attacks on U.S. interests or those of its allies across the region. The U.S. is sending some 3,500 troops to the region with others placed on alert status. The U.S. has also closed its embassy in Iraq and ordered all its citizens to leave. Tensions between Iran and the U.S. have been rising since President Donald Trump withdrew from the Iran nuclear deal. The U.S. says Iran has sought to disrupt the region's oil industry, including last year's devastating attack on Saudi Arabia's oil infrastructure. Iran denies the accusation, but the U.S. has slapped ever harsher sanctions on the country.